I'm going to be talking about a man. This man has won Wimbledon twice. This man has been through the highs and the lows and has never given up, even when his results don't show what a talented person he is. That man is Andy Murray. I know you're all probably thinking, oh, we all know everything about Andy Murray. But no, there are some fascinating and emotional facts behind this roller coaster ride of a man. Andy Murray was born in Glasgow, Scotland on May 15, 1987. He started tennis at the age of three. When he was eight, he experienced something so tragic that he was only willing to reveal it in his documentary a couple of years ago. He experienced the Dumbling Massacre, where a man shot 16 children and one teacher before committing suicide. The thing is, this isn't a biography, it's a speech. So now I'm going to focus on Andy's journey from 2008 to 2016. From 2008 to 2011, Andy was stuck at world number four, but he didn't give up. And sure enough, success started coming once former player Ivan Endel was appointed as his main coach. But the failures also came, and time and time again, Murray was left frustrated and caught. 2012 was a huge year in Murray's career, so let's go straight into some more detail. When Lendl came in, the British had faith, but the frustration was still there. Andy had to overcome his inner demons as well. Andy had to learn not to have a meltdown on the courts. He had improved his tennis in 2011. 2012 was a big step up. For the first time, Andy Murray, seeded fourth in the world, has made it to the Wimbledon final. The whole world was watching him, but they definitely weren't in for a treat, as he crashed upon court and lost the game to Roger Federer. He was so emotionally down that many thought that he wouldn't recover, but exactly the opposite happened. Only a month after his Wimbledon defeat, he went and won Olympic gold, and guess who he beat? Roger Federer, that exact same man who had just beaten him a month ago. That is one of the reasons why Andy is my hero. He will keep on going even when things get tough. In addition, after his Olympic gold, he won the US Open like it was a walk in the park. He finished the year in third. Number one spots had been taken into consideration. A new year and new goals, and for Andy, it was Wimbledon. A loss in the Australian Open final to Novak Djokovic started the rivalry between these two players that is still ongoing today. The summer came and it was time for SW19, in other words, Wimbledon. At the other end of the court was Murray's arch nemesis yet again, Novak Djokovic. It was a thrilling game, well, for Murray fans, as he won it in straight sets. That is another reason why Murray is my hero. All the endless practice pays off, well, at least most of the time. Practice is key in tennis, and Murray knows that the most. 2014 was a year of disappointment for the Scotsman, not making it to any Grand Slam finals. He finished the year in sixth, but with a new coach. Emily Moresmo, the first ever female to coach a male player in the top ten. Andy had done something that tennis had never seen before. He obviously thought it was the right choice, so he took it. Now the chase was on for number one spots. November was a huge month in the Scotsman's career, as he became world number two. To add to the glory, he won the Davis Cup for his country, Great Britain, for the first time since 1936. Those last two months demonstrated two more reasons why Andy is my hero. He's not afraid to show his emotions, and even up to this day, he is modest about his achievements. He was second in the world. He could sense the glory. 2016, the year when the deficit changed. Two more losses to Novak Djokovic came in the Australian and French Open final. The next question was, could Murray win Wimbledon for a second time? The answer was, yes. He beat me in Australia in the final as Novak Djokovic had a shock exit to the American Sam Aguero. A quarter-final defeat to Kaini Shikori in the US Open didn't stop Andy Murray from becoming world number one. 
He has been stuck at world number two for 76 weeks. You may be wondering, Jacob, how would you sum this man up in a sentence? I would simply answer, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. That is what this man has always done. This man is my hero. This man is Andy Murray.